One of the key challenges that I find most businesses have experienced or will experience or maybe even are experiencing right now is that challenge around getting the right people into the team. Now, we know that in order to build a great business, you need to build a great team. But let's go and go one stage back from that. We need to get the right people on board in the first place. So how do we do that? If that's a challenge that you're facing right now, then listen into this video. It's going to take a few minutes and I'll explain with you uh, the system that we've put in place with a number of my clients in and around Edinburgh recently to really good effect. Um, so we're looking for the best quality people, clearly. And, and you know, recruitment's an important, important part of the whole process here. So we want to make sure we're getting the right people. We also want to make sure that we're doing it in the most time efficient way, because again, whilst everyone asks for or the best people, uh, oftentimes people aren't willing to put the effort in at the start to define a really good tight selection process, or in this case, deselection process. So I'm going to share with you the, the, the system that we've put in place with a number of clients, as I say, to really good effect locally. <coughs> and um, hopefully you're going to take a few things out of that and put them into your process. So the first thing that we're looking to do is be really clear on the type of individual that we want to fill the particular type of job that needs filling. So again, nice tight job description uh, with the kind of the key attributes that we're looking for from that the ideal candidate. So we're going to be placing an advert and what we're doing is we're placing an advert um, online. So what I mean by that is the adverts typically or the job descriptions are held kind of on the website of the recruiting business. Um, we then are putting the, the, um, the advert out onto the main social media platforms. Key ones for us in the main tend to be Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. And that advert is going to be accompanied by a video from the, uh, the MD of the business or maybe the partners of the business explaining, you know, hi, here's who we are. This is what we're looking for. Um, and also giving an outline of what the recruitment process is going to be. And the key thing within that is the, the word that says, if you're interested and you think that this is the right role for you and you're the right person for the role, we want you to get in touch. The way to do that is to send us a 60 second video of yourself giving us a quick explanation into who you are and why you feel this job excites you and also what you feel that you could bring to the role. <clears throat> so immediately, <coughs> excuse me, that's going to put a number of people off and that's good. That's what we want. We only want people who genuinely want to make the effort to have the job in the first place. So that's where we then receive the videos. And along with that, we'll also ask for their, their CVs and we will screen based on what we see. Um, what we then do is the people who come out of uh, that process successfully effectively then get dropped into a group interview. And what we're looking for here really is um, we're looking for how the team interacts. We're looking for a, a bit of participation within, within a group interview. It only lasts for maximum of an hour, but there's some set things that we do within that. Um, and really the kind of the key point in that whole environment is to allow the owners again, along with their current team, to kind of welcome uh, the, the potential candidates, tell them a bit about the company, tell them specifically about the role, hand over to the, the current employees and say, look, the, what, you know, tell, tell the prospective candidates what life is like here. And we're really trying to kind of engage people in terms of, does this feel like the kind of business that you're part of? And actually, we'll, we'll also allow people to say, look, if this if you're already thinking this doesn't feel like the right role or the right company for you, you know, you're, you're welcome to leave and, you know, there'll be no, uh, there'll be no grudges, grudges held. For those people that then kind of obviously stay and go through the rest of the process, what we then do is we'll be selecting the people who we feel are worthy of taking to almost the final stage interview. But just at the end, we will give them a, a quick assessment, a 10 minute assessment called DISC, which is a behavioral profiling tool, which we are using just to identify what is this person really like? What's their behavioral type like? Because we, we wanna, we've want we already got a fairly good idea as to what it is we're looking for, because we've defined that even before we've placed the advert. But we just want to just test is this kind of the person that that uh, that will fit our our specific brief 
Um, once we've got that information as well, we then move to face-to-face -face interviews, which is really the final stage. And by that time, we've probably whittled things down to, you know, two to three people um, who we think are genuinely good candidates. And it's a case of then finding, who, who, you know, again, digging deeper and, you know, with some good structured interview questions uh, to see who's the right who's got the right level of skills, who's got the right attitude, and who we think will be a good fit for the, the, the company. Um, and then at that point, once we've got the right person, then clearly we make an offer, and then kind of the whole onboarding process begins of induction training and so on and so forth. But for me, the, 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 the reason I wanted to share this is because a couple of things. One is it's a deselection process. We're deliberately putting hurdles in the way. A lot of people don't want, ever want to kind of go in front of video. Uh, that's fine. Um, a lot of people don't want to come to a group interview. That's fine too. So, you know, all we're doing is we're trying to again, gain people's or engagement as they go through the process. And what's happened, all I can tell you is what's happened through the, doing this process. What we've got in a number of businesses are fantastic people. We feel we've got the right people coming into the business who are making a difference almost from day one. And, and, and importantly, they're doing the job that we asked them to do, thus allowing other time to be freed up elsewhere, whether that be the owners, the directors or whomever, to get on with other stuff as well. So it's having a great impact on people locally. I, I hope that you can take from this um, some nuggets that you can fit into your own recruitment process um, that gets you the right kind of people. So um, get in touch if you want to discuss this in detail because I'm conscious I've skipped through this. There's a lot more to it. But again, that's broadly speaking the outline of the recruitment process. Uh, as I say, get in touch. I'd love to help you. Good luck in business. Take care.